afternoon or good morning to you guys i hope you guys are having a good week happy wednesday just in case you need to pick me up here's a yummy cake recipe just for you Fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shine bright above. Okay, that's it, guys. That is my tofu scrap. Friday morning. Stars shine bright above. Now to start off with this recipe, because we are making a carrot banana cake or banana carrot cake, I'm not quite sure of the name yet, um, you're going to start off with two ripe bananas that you're going to mash and then to that you're going to be adding in your warm spices which include one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and one teaspoon of nutmeg as well as one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of vanilla essence, then you're going to mash that in um, very gently. We are making this in one bowl so I just think this is less clean up and it's just very straightforward. Anyway, then we're going to add in half a cup of vegetable oil oil you can use whatever oil you like if you want to use coconut oil you can melt that if you want to use butter you can also use melted butter here you don't have to use vegetable oil like i am i'm using canola oil from food lovers um i would not suggest you use olive oil though then i'm adding in one and a half cup of grated carrots and one teaspoon of minced ginger now if i was using the powder i would have added in the powder with the other spices but because i'm using minced ginger i decided to add it in with the carrots just because that's how i wanted to do it and then you add in two teaspoons of baking powder and one cup of milk whatever milk you use is up to you whether that be cow's milk soya milk coconut milk you know just be aware of the fat to water ratio because that will affect the consistency of the cake and uh, i realized i forgot the brown sugar so then i quickly rushed to get the brown sugar and i decided to add it in guys honestly it's because there was a time where i didn't bake with sugar and i was just relying on natural fruit sweetness especially if i was making like banana bread or something i wouldn't add sugar and i'll just add honey at the end or maple syrup when i'm done baking it and i wanted it to have a little bit more sweetness kind of like when you make pancakes it's not like you add so much sugar in there you know anyway and then i decided to add in another half cup of carrots just because i wanted it to have more carrots um, i just felt like the banana was overpowering and i wanted to be fair and equal to them both i mixed that well and then i prepared my greased pan i decided to add these two ingredients towards the end of this video because they are very optional but they do both come highly recommended by me and a lot of bakers out there now the lemon juice is going to work with the baking powder to ensure that that we're making is going to be much fluffier especially because we're adding in banana and carrot that will weigh the dough down and make it a bit denser so adding in some sort of acid like widespread vinegar apple cider vinegar which is what i usually like to use or lemon juice helps to ensure that the dough is not too heavy as it will react with the baking powder and make it fluffier and lighter and create more air bubbles and then the black strap molasses is just for flavor really it helps to add more of that brown sugar flavor kind of um, if you want to know a bit more about black strap molasses you can look it up um, i just added in half a teaspoon of that because it is very strong and very pungent so we don't want to add too much um, but mixing it in does make a difference and makes the flavor of the brown sugar much more um, noticeable and it really adds a really nice depth of flavor nice dimension as well as a little bit of a brownish color and then i've added that into our greased pan i'm using this little mini bunt pan i think that's what it's called um, you can use a different pan like a an ordinary bread pan you know the long rectangular ones whatever you like um it's not really up to me it's your life and then on top i decided that i was gonna add in some granola some kellogg's granola just for some crunch and because i didn't add in any nuts in here and the granola does have some coconut and i think a few seeds and some oats 
so yeah um again i also didn't add in raisins because not everybody in my household loves raisins but if you do then feel free to add them in too 40 to 45 minutes later your kitchen will be smelling so amazing and your cake will be ready you just have to leave it to cool down for about 10 minutes in the tin then take it out to cool down properly before you cut it and there you have it a beautiful banana carrot cake and just to add because it is a breakfast cake I prefer my breakfast cakes not to be too sweet but I did enjoy mine with some coconut yogurt instead of the typical cream cheese frosting that I would have made 